In this video, we're going to have a look at how we can use complex numbers to simplify the summing of series. So first of all, we'll have a look at a question like this. So a problem like this where we're asked to write 1 plus cos theta plus cos 2 theta plus cos 3 theta all the way, adding terms all the way up to cos of 20 theta, how to write that in a more compact form using complex numbers. So we've got 1 plus cos theta plus cos 2 theta all the way up to cos 20 theta. Well, first of all, what I'm going to do is define a sequence C to be exactly that which we're being asked to sum. So C is 1 plus cos theta plus cos of 2 theta all the way up to cos of 20 theta. And I'm going to define a similar sequence in sine to be sine theta plus sine of 2 theta plus all the way up to sine of 20 theta ignoring this one here so now I'm going to calculate the sequence C plus IS so that's equal to 1 plus and I'm going to gather the corresponding vertically aligned terms here and hopefully you'll start to see what's happening. So you've got cos theta. And if I attach an i to this sine theta. As instructed here. Cos theta plus i sine theta. Plus cos of 2 theta. Plus i sine of 2 theta. All the way up to cos of 20 theta plus i sine of 20 theta. So what we've got to remember, and the whole key to getting this correct, is remembering that this sequence here is simply the real part of this expression. We've attached an i to all the sine terms. So here, this here will be the imaginary part of the sequence. This here will be the real part because we've attached an i to the s's but we've attached nothing to the cos's so the cos part remains the real part of this expression <coughs> so now hopefully you can see that we can rewrite that as 1 plus e to the i theta because e to the i theta is cos theta plus i sine theta plus e to the i 2 theta plus e to the i 3 theta all the way up to e to the i 20 theta now this here is a sequence a geometric sequence with common ratio e to the i theta and first term 1 so using the geometric sequence formula geometric sequence with a being 1 and r being e to the i theta so just a justification of that e to the i theta times e to the i theta when we just add the powers it becomes e to the 2i theta times it by i theta again we add another i theta becomes i3 theta so it's a common it's a geometric sequence with common ratio e to the i theta therefore the sum of the first and you'd be forgiven for thinking it's 20 terms but actually we can see that the 21 terms here because we need to include one so one two three four all the way up to the 21st term so the sum of the first 21 terms so we can also say that n here is 21 so the sum of the first 21 terms use your formula book so it's a 1 minus r to the power of n over 1 minus r so in this case that's equal to 1 times 1 minus r to the power of 21 over 1 minus r now the reason there's 21 terms just to clear this up is because here we've got 1, 2, 3, 
for all the way up to 20 and an extra one at the front, that one. So counting them all up, there'll be 21 terms. Okay. So simplifying this, we get 1 minus e to the i 21 theta over 1 minus e to the i theta. And turning this back into the normal CIS form, we see that that's 1 minus cos of 21 theta plus i sine of 21 theta. And that's all divided by 1 minus cos theta plus i sine theta. <clears throat> right, so what I need to do now is separate out the imaginary and real parts. I'm looking to isolate the real part of this question because we'll look back right at the start. The real part of the sequence is the thing that we're summing, is the c. So 1 plus cos theta plus cos 2 theta all the way up to cos 20 theta. The real part is what I want. It was the real part in this sequence here. So it'll be the real part in the simplified version at the end. So one last little thing before we try and do that. I want to isolate the real and the imaginary parts in on the numerator and on the denominator. So on the numerator, the real part is 1 minus cos of 21 theta. And the imaginary part is sine of 21 theta. All divided by doing exactly the same on the bottom so the real part is 1 minus cos theta and the imaginary part is minus sine theta so in order to isolate the real and imaginary parts what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply by the complex conjugate of the denominator as you did in your year one further maths. So, one minus cos of 21 theta minus i sine of 21 theta all divided by One minus cos theta minus i sine theta times the complex conjugate of that. So turn the imaginary part, uh, change the sign of the imaginary part. So one minus cos theta now plus i sine theta over. Same thing, 1 minus cos theta plus i sine theta equals, <clears throat> so on the top we get 1 minus cos of 21 theta minus i sine of 21 theta multiplied by 1 minus cos theta plus i sine theta all over Now this should be the easier part to multiply out because of the difference of two squares. You've got 1 minus cos theta squared plus sine theta squared or sine squared theta as we normally write it. So 
because now I have the denominator real. So we're going to have a look at the things that we need to multiply together to get the real part. So the real part, which is what we want, is equal to, well, if we multiply this one by this, it'll give us a real part. And this one here, by this one, we'll end up with an S with a I squared, and that will give us a real part as well. So the real part, so multiply the pink ones together, we get 1 minus cos of 21 theta times 1 minus cos theta, then minus I squared, so that's plus 1. sine of 21 theta sine theta and not forget the denominator and it's a common thing for students to do to forget about the denominator over and let's multiply this out we get 1 minus 2 cos theta plus cos squared theta plus sine squared theta Hopefully you recognise that this bit is just equal to 1. So it's equal to, let's multiply this out. We've got, so 1 minus cos theta minus 21, uh, sorry, cos of 21 theta plus cos 21 theta cos theta plus sine 21 theta sine theta all over 2 minus 2 cos theta because this bit here is equal to 1 equals 1 minus cos theta minus cos of 21 theta and with this here that's actually a compound angle it's an expansion of a compound angle so if you consult your formula booklet you'll see that that's actually plus cos of 21 theta minus theta all over 2 minus 2 cos theta let's keep going we're almost there equals 1 minus cos theta minus cos of 21 theta plus cos of 20 theta all over 2 minus 2 cos theta which is a much more compact expression than the 21 term expression we were originally given now let's just be 100% clear here this was the real part of this series that we summed up here so we can see that that was the real part of the, uh, of the sum of the geometric series. And the sum of the geometric series was C plus IS. It was the real part, C, was the thing that we were asked to sum. So what we did, we worked out C plus IS in order to be able to use this, in order to turn it into a geometric series. But remembering that this was the real part of the series. So once we got the nice compact expression at the end, we only wanted to take the real part from it. We did that here and then simplified it using compound angle formulae and trig identities to get this four-term expression, six if you count the denominator.